Hey, what's up? It's Enrique from Electron here, and today I wanted to show you how to download, load, and browse through sound packs on your Syntax. So let's dive in. First, we'll need to have Transfer installed on our computer. Use the link down below to download and install Transfer from the Electron website. And while you do that, let me tell you about Transfer. Transfer is Electron's application for both Mac and Windows that simplifies the transfer of files between your computer and your Electron device. We can use Transfer for upgrading devices, transferring sounds and samples, as well as making backups of your device data like projects, samples, and sounds and presets. On the Electron.se website, we can also grab our sound pack. We'll go over here to Shop, then select Sound Packs. There are a ton of sound packs to choose from for all of our machines, but for this example, I'm going to be using the free Team Machines pack made by the Electron team. We'll select it and grab it for free. Okay, now we'll open up Transfer, and we're going to connect Syntax to our computer with its USB cable. Inside of Syntax settings, we'll need to go to its settings menu, scroll all the way down to the bottom, hit yes on system, then select USB config and set that to USB MIDI. Looking back at Transfer, our syntax should show up as both our input and output device. Make sure it looks similar to mine with the Electron syntax in both drop-down menus. If it is, then press Connect. Now, what we're looking at here, if we go over to the Explore tab, is our computer on the left-hand side and our device on the right-hand side. I'm going to change our device's focus from Projects to Sounds, then choose a blank bank. We'll go with G. Now let's find our downloaded sound pack either using Finder on Mac or Explorer on Windows or our computer window on the left hand side within Transfer. You can see here my Team Machines pack is here. I'll double click to select that. Here are all of our sounds. I'm going to go ahead and just select all of them by selecting one and then hitting Command A and drag them over to the device side window. And bam, you can see all our sounds being loaded in right away. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and disconnect your syntax from your computer. But now, if you're wondering, how do we hear these sounds on Syntact, let me show you. But first, we need to understand the very important difference between our plus drive and our sound pool. Okay, so on our device, the plus drive is our device's internal storage, containing our projects and sounds. The sound pool is our per project storage, containing sounds which we have loaded from our plus drive. When loading sounds from our plus drive, which is the device's internal memory, to our sound pool, which is per project, Syntax will make a copy of that sound to one of the 128 slots within the currently loaded project sound pool. This allows us to freely go wild with the parameters and not have to worry about possibly messing up the same loaded sound within another project. On Syntax, we'll go to our sound manager by pressing function and sound. Scroll all the way down to Sound Manager and then press Yes. Here, we're looking at the plus drive within Syntax that holds the sounds we've just transferred over. By holding down Bank, I can select between the eight different banks of sounds that we have stored on our device. I'll press 15, which is Bank G. And now you'll see all the sounds that we sent over to our device. We can preview sounds within the Sound Manager by pressing either keys 1 through 8 for digital sounds or 9 through 12 for analog sounds. From the Sound Manager, we can also load a selected sound directly to a track or select which individual sounds we want to copy to our sound pool. Or if we want all sounds within a bank to be copied to our sound pool, we can press right, scroll down to select all, then copy to, and sound pool. Awesome, now let's load these sounds to our tracks. Pressing no a few times gets us back to our main view of a selected track. Here, we'll press and hold the function and wiggle the level data knob. This is a view of our sound pool. And just to be sure, let's press the left arrow key and make sure we select view pool in case it was already on our plus drive. Syntax has a digital circuit across tracks one through eight, one type of analog circuit that is the same across tracks nine through 11, and an analog noise circuit on track 12. Another helpful tip is that when you select a track, Syntax will automatically show you those sounds that can be loaded to that track type. And whichever track you have just selected can be used to preview the highlighted sound with that track's trigger, or you can just press function and yes to preview that sound. Once you find a sound you like, press yes to load that sound to the currently selected track. Lastly, here's a fun tip. Sounds loaded to your sound pool can be assigned to individual steps within the same track. 
These are called sound locks. It's a fun way of creating complex patterns using a single synth voice. Let's say we have a few different steps within a sequence, right? So let's just go and do this here. Now, similar to parameter locks, we'll hold down a step and then turn the level data knob and you'll see our sound pool pop up. This is showing us which sounds will be locked to that specific step. To preview the sound while holding down the step, press yes. Once you find a sound you like, let go of the step and it will be sound locked to that step. Now, try copy pasting that step around to create a new beat within a single track. All right, congratulations. You now know more about Syntact than you did before this video, I hope. To find out more about Syntact, check out these videos here or here, or check out the links down in the description below. Peace.